My friends, my friends, welcome to another Fly Casual how-to video and today we'll be talking playing Star Wars Armada on Tabletop Simulator or as everyone calls it TTS. Uh, now what you're saying is, hang on, Ian's already done uh, videos on the uh, how to install Armada on TTS but uh, I've, after watching those videos I've had a look and decided that they need a bit of an update um, some of the old stuff that Ian goes through do does take a while and I thought reshooting these videos would be a perfect thing to do. Right, so you've got uh, TTS. Uh, do you go straight in and start playing? Absolutely not. You actually have to do a little couple of little things before you start the game. Just one little small thing. Uh, but this will uh, start off with uh, getting the mod for Star Wars Armada. And then also saving a list of just a little basic and of course the basic movements and uh, controls here. Just very basic stuff. If I'm not going to go into full keyboard controls. Uh, you can do that yourself uh, in the in Tabletop Simulator and TTS. Um, so this will be the first part of this video. The second part will be about finding and fly, fly, finding players and finding groups to play with. So and joining a game as well. And then the third part will have a quick demo game of uh, of Clone Wars uh, between uh, someone else and uh, I will show you an actual game of Amada and what to do, what to press and how to go about it. So let's start off with the start. So uh, as we said before, you will need to actually add the mod for Star Wars Amada onto Tabletop Simulator. Um, Tabletop Simulator comes with basic games with chess, mahjong and all that. Uh, and uh, then you have to buy DLC so but then uh, there are fan created mods as well and that's what we're going to go to today so go up to here where it says workshop click on workshop here it should take you to this page here right and just on the top where it says search tabletop simulator you type in Star Wars Armada so give that a search. You'll see a couple, uh, a fair amount of uh, mods here. The one you want, it's very easy to spot, is the one with the uh, the five stars by uh, Val Valid and, and so just click on that. And this one is the Star Wars Armada with complete scripting, five stars by Valid. So what you all you need to do is just go down and click on the subscribe button here. I'm already subscribed uh, because I have the mod. All you need to do is click on subscribe and that should be it. Uh, just to give a big shout out to Valen and, and any of the modders who do the great work that they've done here. They've just recently updated to Clone Wars and 1.5 cards. Uh, so if you do have a bit, spare couple of bucks, uh, there is a tip jar for him on his PayPal account. I'll put a link in the description to, below if you want to help out. Uh, and anything helps for these guys who do it out of their goodness of their own heart. Once you've got that installed, all you need to do is head back to the library and click on play. Of course, you can always go to your, it'll be a link on the uh, desktop as well. So let's start Tabletop Simulator. Uh, so this is, this will cost you, if for those people who are asking, this will cost you a bit of about $30 or so, give or take, uh, from Australian dollars. Um, but there are some sales from time to time. I understand Vassal is free, but this gives you a much better view of a game. Uh, I just find Vassal very dry. So here's the main page of Tabletop Simulator. You've got the join button, the create button on the side here. Middle button's configuration. Uh, here's uh, the light bulb a tutorial. If you've got five minutes, definitely go through the tutorial. Go through actually moving around the camera and left, right and that. But I'll go through that as well. Uh, you've got your credits and then to exit the game, you press this button here. What we're going to do now is just going to create a quick, uh, how to create a list and save it. Uh, so, so you're ready for your games. Uh, so we'll, what we'll do is click on create and we'll create a single player game for now. As you can see here, you've got all your different games, your DLCs. Uh, what we want, I've got X-Wing, of course, 2.0 as well. But what we want is Star Wars Armada. And we're loading that up. And here we are. Here is the board. Definitely have a read through all the uh, improvements that they've done. Very big improvements since last time, uh, last uh, 
version of the uh, tabletop simulator. So have a read through them, but I'll go for a little bit of them as well myself here. Right, here is the board state itself. You've got the board, you've got all the lines that you will need for the game. We'll go over to the left hand side here. You've got your rules reference and your learn to play, all your tokens, obstacles here, your cards are here. This used to be the old way you had to get your list up. You had to drag cards out and line them up. Uh, but I'll explain how to do it the new way. You've got your damage deck here, and then you've got your quick build data cards here. So if you want to play a quick build car, um, starter game from the core sets, you just click one of those and uh, one of the uh, core sets starter games will start. So you've got your Empire, Rebellion, Separatist and Republic. As I said, this is the damage deck here. Uh, just to let you know, just to move around is um, the, the WSAD keys. So uh, uh, W is up, S is down, left and right of course A and D. Um, to zoom in and out, you use the wheel. And then to move around like this as well, to pan, uh, you hold the right click button to do this. Spacebar gets you back to where you were. Um, if you want to look at a card, just hover over it and press the Alt button. And that will give you the full card. And of course, you've got M for magnifying glass to see. Um, this will be useful for when you've got arcs and, and ranges. If you're that close, you can zoom in and have a look. Uh, apologies for Mac users. I'm not quite sure what your buttons are. You'll just have to figure them out yourself. Apologies there. As I said, you've got your damage deck here. Uh, to pick up one card, just click on it once and do like that. Uh, to flip the card, press F, of course. And there's your damage deck. To rotate the card, just hold it and then use the, uh, the wheel. Now, if you want to pick up all the cards, you click on it and then you hold. Click and hold and picks up all cards. But we'll go into that more into detail in the game coming up. Uh, so we'll just click and hold these, put these back, the damage deck. Of course, you right-click, you can you do all your shuffle stuff. Again, we'll go through that in the full game itself. Right, so as I said, we've got the board in the middle here. Uh, on the right-hand side, we've got dice. We've got rules as well. We've got tokens here, so unlimited use of tokens. You've got a dice tray as well. So uh, there is a dice tray to roll dice if you want to do that. Again, we'll go through in detail in the game as well so have a play with that if you want but let's start off with the main basic here let's spawn a list so before as i said before you needed to drag out the cards and then just line them up and all do that but now the new feature on um, um tabletop simulator thanks to the guys here it was we've got a, an armada fleet spawner so as you can see here you just need to paste in a list so for those people who use Ryan Kingston, that's fantastic. So I will bring up a list for you right now. So I've got my Ozzel's Kittens list here. So I've made this all up. Make sure you've got everything in there, including your objectives. All you need to do is just pop it out into the text. Copy all that in. And then paste it in. And then all you need to do now is press phase. Voila. Now, don't worry about the red uh, icons there. Uh, if you're having issues, if people don't know, uh, if the system doesn't know what it is, uh, it will ask you what, try to explain. But these are just names and it comes with a list. So everything's all look good here. You've got your squadrons, you've got all your upgrade cards and your admiral there. So um, don't worry about too much of the red stuff. If it's something here, then you'll definitely need to... Um, rewrite them but you can also write it by hand you know just typing in your list but this is a much easier way so once you've put that in you press the spawn button and there's the list so i'll just put that away now what will happen now is the squadrons the everything else will spawn in there and you are set to go you've got your objective cards you've got all your ships and all your squadrons there as well and every dial that you'll need as well too. Uh, and your tokens here too. So these are infinitive tokens as well. As you can see, it's all nicely evened out, um, spread out very nicely here. 
uh, as you can see all cards are the 1.5 large cards and uh, it's all ready to go so do I need to spawn my list every time? No, actually. If you have a look on here, on the side is a data card. Uh, with the data card, if you just hover it over it, uh, it should usually come up with the name of the list, but that's all right. All you need to do now, this is an actual save card. All you need to do with this card is right click it. Oh, there we go, so it came up before. <laughs> save object. And just name it whatever it, the name of the fleet is. I said it's Ozzel's Kittens. So we'll save that. So that's all been saved. So this card will just uh, represent um, basically that fleet that you've created there. So you don't need to paste it in all the time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clear all this. I'll get rid of that actually. So now... Let's just say you load it back into uh, um, um, uh, into the uh, TTS and you want to play that same list that you've just loaded up before. So you just go to objects, uh, you go to saved objects here and you see your data cards here. Um, there he goes. That's the one I want. Ozzel's Kittens. So bring that up. Drag and drop or you can just uh, click on it and click on spawn. But uh, drag and drop is easy enough. Once it's on the on the uh, board there just click on spawn free and there we are the same ships come out again uh, that you uh, loaded up before and that's it for spawning a fleet and create, creating a fleet and spawning fleet and just the basics of tabletop simulator now any questions any queries definitely comment below uh, we'll be I'll be back with uh, the next episode of uh, of this of finding a game joining a game and joining groups where uh, they play tabletop simulator thanks for tuning in guys and remember like subscribe like us on facebook and fly casual